this is my first deployment or of any sort or anything like that. So, yeah, it's definitely new, nerve-wracking. I don't know what to expect, kind of scared. For myself, it, it's not my first rodeo, but it is the first time I've, you know, been married and gone. Uh, this is a, definitely the first time that I want to come back a father. So, so. on on that aspect, it's a little bit more nerve-wracking. The child should be three, four, maybe five months old before I get home. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be crying like a little yeah. girl when we, you know, when I come out from the airport. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it sucks on my part too. Uh, you know, I miss all the pregnancy stuff and um, I was fortunate today we had our first OBG appointment so I got to actually see the sonogram and stuff. I was really excited about that because I'm, I'm not gonna be here for anything. Yeah. So it, it is depressing and it does suck, but it's it's something that her and I are both very strong about and we're both very strong-willed people and we will yeah. get through this just fine. As it's getting closer for him to leave, it, the feelings of being lonely and like becoming a reality of, oh crap, I have to do this by myself is becoming more and more of a reality. So it's like a little bit more depressing as he starts to leave and um, I think it's just going to take time. It'll get easier, I know. I just got to try and stay strong. I'm not going to say I already know what to expect because that's probably the most horrible thing you can think of and that's when bad stuff happens like, oh, I already know everything. I know what's going on. But I have a good idea of how things are being ran over there and it's always in the back of your mind, hey, you know you're going to a war zone, right? You know that they, they shoot at you because they don't like you. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I have a job I have to do. I know what I have to do. If I concentrate on every bad thing that's gonna happen, I can't concentrate on my actual job, which is to make sure that the helicopters I'm working on mechanically are sound so that they can come home every day from their missions. And that's in the back of my mind. Cause it's not, it's not just my brothers and sisters in arms that are on those birds. It's my actual family on there. It's my brothers on there. My best friend's making me cry already. Stop crying. I'm not crying because I already know you're crying. Yeah. Okay. The anticipation more than anything is what's killing me. Uh, I've done this before, obviously more than once. So it's just like I'm mentally, I'm like, I'm like, let's do this, let's go. I'm, I'm already there, kind of. <laughs> Everybody cries, nice. and it doesn't matter if you've done it the first time or the 20th time. It's, it is very emotional watching them leave. And, and because they're leaving, they're not wanting to leave. You've got kids clinging to, you know, mommies and daddies, and it's, it's just, the whole thing's emotional when they leave. You kind of try and be stoic about it, but, you know, you're putting a chunk of your life on hold to help support them for the time that they're gone. And during that time, you know, all these things are running through your head, you know, what if, and you try and prepare for that. And no matter what you read, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, it's, it, is, it is always different each time, and it's just not easy. My main focus is to try to stay focused while I'm over there. I mean, I'm going to be think, thinking about them while I'm gone, but... I've got to be watching my all my buddies' backs over there. We've known each other for 10 years, and it, our feelings have only grown, grown stronger and stronger, and um, she's just made it. That much better? So much better, and yeah. uh, I just, when, when we found out we were gonna have her, and I found out he was coming home from Iraq the first time, I told people, cause she started kicking, I told people, you can't touch her. You can't touch my belly because Chris has to be the first. Yeah. And I know that this time I can't, I can't hold all the milestones for him. I, I can't, <laughs> I can't, uh, you know, he can't be here to share him. You know, we can Skype and everything and, and I'll miss him. And, and, it, and it does kind of suck because I have her, so I have to be strong for her. I, you know, I can't break down and cry because then it'll just make it worse for her. I have to be strong, so that's, kind of harder. She's all about daddy. She yeah. is the definition of a daddy's girl. She walks in the door and she goes looking for him and I'm gonna have to just deal with the fact that she's looking for him and he's not gonna be here. Yeah. And <laughs> can't fix it so. And it's hard because mommies are supposed to be like Superman and I can't bring daddy back. <laughs>